Now I'm going to talk about and go over how to build this particular bee house, uh, which isn't quite a bee house yet, but it will be what we call the basic bee house. And it's for solitary bees. This is made from a birch log. You need a log about this long or so. Um, you can be six inches in diameter, it can be larger, but it's best not to go too small. And then you can use any kind of log as long as it's not cedar and it's not treated because both of those may harm the bees. So like I said, this is a birch log, but you can also use other kinds. So you can take a hand drill with a bit in the range of 1 8 to 5 16 of an inch. And this one is a bit too short. You want one that's a little longer than that so that you can drill holes that are deeper, hopefully around 4 inches. And you can find longer drill bits like that at home improvement stores or other hardware stores like Menards here, otherwise Home Depot, they often have bits like that. And you want to be sure to use a range of those different sizes so that you can accommodate as many species of bees as possible. Now I'm going to grab one that I've already drilled. And you can see here on this other birch log that I've used a variety of sizes from 1 8 of an inch to 5 16 of an inch. And that'll help to accommodate different species of bees from leaf cutter bees to mason bees and everything in between. So there's now the capability to accommodate a much larger variety of bees because I used a nice variety of different drill bits. And again, these holes go down about this far, some of them a little longer, like the wider ones, I was able to find longer drill bits. So there's some variation in both the diameter and length but about four inches is around the minimum that we'd like to have the holes drilled. So that is really simple, quick and easy, basic bee house. You just go out, find a log, drill some holes inside of it, and then you can either attach a roof from a couple of wooden boards and use a chain to hang it. You can attach a, a chain straight into here. Um, you could even find another way to mount it, whether you strap it onto a post. There are multiple ways to mount these. One of my favorites being a roof and a chain to hang over a branch in a tree. And like the advanced solitary bee house, you're going to want to put it in a sunny spot, but where it has some coverage from the weather. So it should be out of the rain, out of the wind, and maybe under the overhang of a roof or under the coverage of a tree. But you want to be sure that it gets some sun coverage. And that's the simple nice, easy, solitary bee house for our Minnesota native solitary bees and solitary bees all around the world. A bee house like this can cost you about zero dollars if you have a drill and if you have a log somewhere. Otherwise, it's about the cost of, say, the drill bits or the drill because logs are pretty re readily available in nature. So you don't need too much to do this and it's a nice, simple, easy solution to help combat habitat loss and bee decline.